Hey guys, Atsu here. I am finally back from Los Angeles. In fact, I've been back for around a week now, but my schedule has been so overwhelmingly jam-packed that I've just been so busy and just demoralized from making any normal YouTube content as well as streaming. And as a result, well, not even as a result, even before I went to LA, I made a huge, huge mistake. And I really apologize for this. And as many of you guys notice, which proves that many of you guys are very sharp-eyed individuals. So I'm very happy about that. That's the silver lining of this all. But I messed up. I done goofed. For those people who watched my last Genshin Impact video of the Spiral Abyss, it was... Technically not a re-upload, but at the same time, a re-upload. I gave two different editors the exact same footage, so I ended up with two different videos which spawned from the same piece of content. And the reason why is because I gave the first editor the raw footage, and then before I went to Los Angeles, I'm guessing what happened was I was in a rush, so I renamed one of the footage or the footage that was used the ayaka footage because there's an ayaka spiral abyss video that's coming in the future now that's coming soon which is the video that was meant to go up now i uploaded this video and then a lot of people were like what did you re-upload did you re-upload one of my editors was like wait is this deja vu i'm like huh what are you talking about this is a completely different video <clears throat> and then thank you lee ben for the mora I realized, I realized that I had given my other editor the exact same footage and I didn't give him the Ayaka footage and I messed up. So honestly, I'm so, so, so sorry about that, guys. And the reason why I couldn't take it down is because there was an ad sponsor in that for Nino Kuni Crossworlds. And I'm not sponsored to say this. That game is actually pretty awesome and it is coming out on PC and mobile. I'm very excited for it. I might cover it on the channel, but because of that, I couldn't take it down. And I was like, oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? I started panicking. I just started sweating balls. And I was like, oh my goodness. So that wasn't fun. And then this whole week, from May 5th, which is, I came back on May 4th. It's now been a week. From May 5th, all the way up, guys, till May, I think, 29th or 30th. If I have something content-related-wise or contract-related-wise, every... What are you doing, Miles? Excuse me. I have something every single day and I'm so overwhelmed and I'm so stressed. So, hello, today is Genshin. What day is it even? I don't even know what day it is. Genshin Wednesday. Hello, everybody. My name is Atsu. My username is Spy Family. You guys should watch Spy Family. I watched Spy Family yesterday and it really lightened my mood. It was very waku waku, which is awesome. And this, guys, I wanted to talk about this because there's a lot of stuff that's going on. First of all, again, apologies. I like there's nothing I can really do other than apologize because I completely the boom boom boomed. I don't that's not even a word, but I like my brain just went kaput and I messed up. But the Ayaka video will be coming out soon. We also I also want to talk about, you know, what's happening in Shanghai. Uh, as you guys know, I'm mixed Asian, part part Chinese, part pretty much every other Asian as well by a family in Shanghai as well and they are under lockdown which is why uh, not specifically my family is the reason for this but Shanghai is under lockdown so Genshin Impact is not able to you know really bring out any updates with full confidence so we're getting compensation every single week that version 2.7 is going to be delayed 400 primo gems 120,000 1 2 3 4 5 120,000 more right? I imagine that was 1.2 million we got seven heroes wits fragile resin which is my favorite and then we got mystic enhancement ore as well so thank you very much to hoyoverse for dropping that with us which is nice one thing i would have liked if was is well, was if they refreshed the battle pass which they didn't do which I'm a little bit, you know, that's a that's a bit, a bit a bit sad. But at the same time, you know, these people are in like extreme lockdown. They're not even allowed to leave their homes unless they need to go to the hospital. And, you know, food is being delivered to their door. I think they have just about eased up for like very heavily quarantined areas, which are now confirmed to be like COVID safe. Those people are allowed to go outside and walk around, but it's still here and there depending on whereabouts in shanghai you are i know my family specifically have not been having a good time 
over there. So I really do hope the situation gets a lot better. Now, Genshin Monday or Genshin whatever day we're doing, typically speaking, guys, for those of you who are new here, and if you are still here, despite all my rambling, is when I take on a bunch of the weekly bosses and I just do and say whatever I normally do. So I just exist. I'm just unga bunga and I just speak. And sometimes I speak about important things. Sometimes I speak about funny things. Sometimes I just commentate on the gameplay and we just go with the flow because on this channel, we're scuffed. We don't have, you know, proper structure. We don't have scripting. I don't like doing cuts. So all of my videos are like raw and just one take. So if I say something bad or if I say something that might get me in trouble, then, you know, <clears throat> that's probably bad. That's like a really bad but you know it is what it is you know it is what it is no filter is the way of how we do it here and that's you know i wouldn't change it for anything in the world other than raiden can you stop can you oh my god oh my god what a guess though what a guess though okay so i just lost like an inch like ridiculous amount of damage because my burst missed which is not good. I don't appreciate that. But it is what it is. Hopefully we can finish this off before the riding goes god mode here. Can we? Can we? Can we? Please? Please? Come on! I missed! F finish! 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 Disappear! Disappear! Kaboom. Oh my god. Just die. Revenge for Kaza's bestie! Die! Okay, goodbye. Oh, oh! So it vanishes upwards. So, that was okay. Oh, I saw a little bit of a beam there. But what are we going to get today? We are going to get absolutely nothing. Nothing! Well, we got a Vajrada Amethyst chunk, which is great. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about with Raiden Shogun, guys, I always get distracted and I have to commentate on the gameplay because I don't want to die and I don't want to embarrass myself. Every other boss, though, other than maybe... Oh, I've got my dailies on here, so my brother hasn't woken up yet. But every other boss, normally, you know, I have Zhongli. And when you have Zhongli, I don't really need to concentrate on any of the other bosses. But what I wanted to talk about is also Genshin Esports. Now, if you're not on Twitter, guys, you, you are like seriously, seriously missing out on a lot of information when you are not on Twitter because Twitter is the place, it is like the go-to place to be for Genshin Impact information, Genshin Impact tweets, Genshin Impact updates, and just following fav your favorite content creators or even just like mainstream celebrities, etc., etc. There's a lot of stuff that goes on on Twitter. Now, something that was announced on Twitter was Genshin Esports for UK universities. Surprisingly, I'm surprised my own university wasn't involved, the one that I graduated from, LSE, London School of Economics, but there's a bunch of universities that's going to be participating in a tournament for Genshin Impact, hosted by a English company, a British company called Jinx T T TV, Jinx Esports. I should really know this. Uh, and the reason I should know this is because I will be, alongside Maples, going to be casting live casting the finals which are going to be in london on that event now obviously you know the genshin impact being the genshin impact community and a lot of let's say for lack of a better term spoiled and entitled brats uh that's not you guys but there are a lot of them on there who are not really sensitive to world issues because they are chronically online and they don't know what's happening in the real world with shanghai being in lockdown they were unhappy about this. They were like, whoa, you can do this, but where are our primo gems? I'm like, oh my, I'm just like, oh my goodness. Oh, what is this entitlement? It is disgusting. But this esports thing has been worked, been worked on in the background for a while now. I'm glad I can finally announce that I'm going to be part of it. So I think this is going to be streamed on, I think... I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this, but I think it's going to be on television, at least UK television, and it's going to be on Twitch as well. So I will be I will be on that broadcast 
live commentating, trying to be a wannabe esports commentator. I have no idea how that's going to go because as you can see right now, my commentary right now is extremely scuffed and I say and do anything I see on the screen and it's very unga bunga and I don't process information that quickly. So I am slightly concerned about you know, if I'm going to destroy my own brand. Now, I'm I'm confident that it's not going to happen, but there's still that little inkling of concern in the back of my mind. As we get ourselves, we get ourselves four drops of one garbage, two garbage, and then we got the... See, like normally what I would call this, the Tusk of Monoceros is one of the butt plugs that Chard has. You know, he has two of them. He's got the sharp one, and then he's got the other rounded one. You see what I'm saying? I can't say this on live television. So, you know, hopefully you guys come along, you guys hang out in the chat, and you prevent me from doing something a little bit cuckoo kaka and saying something absolutely horrific and terrible. So keep me on track, guys. That That is my uh, request to you guys. On the May 28th, May 28th, which is actually also coinciding, unfortunately, with London Comic Con on the Saturday, meaning I can't go to that. However, on the Friday, and if I'm not dead on the on the Sunday, like if I'm not social battery wise dead, I will be at London MCM Comic Con on Sunday as well. But Friday for sure, I will be there with Maples. Maples, also known as Ellie is going to be the other caster alongside me for the esports event and you know she's going to be coming over to my, my place and staying over with myself neko and my flatmates so i'm very very excited about that so yeah hopefully we will see you guys at london mcm if you guys are going to be there and part of that convention conventions are exciting now speaking about conventions Yes, yes, yes. For those of you Putanina gang here who are still watching, the Philo gang, listen, for those of you who are new here as well, and Pinoy, I know what Putanina means, okay? I know what it means, but mainly the Twitch community that I have, and some of you guys in the comment section, you guys came up with that name, so I've just gone with it, all right? So some people are like, whoa, Atsu's so rude. He's so disrespectful. I'm like, what? You guys are the ones that told me to say that. So, you know, that, that's the reasoning, right? So that's why it's called the Putanina Gang, for those of you who are new here. I am aware of the political situation in the Philippines right now. I know it's a very sensitive topic right now, so I don't really want to delve too much into that. But the thing, the reason why I brought it up is because right now, I am in the midst of, you know, conversation with people in the Philippines who are running a convention called Conquest. Now, Conquest is in the capital, Manila. And myself, along with potentially other content creators, may or may not be June, 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 July, sorry, July, July 23rd, and July 24th, if I've got my dates down correctly, we may or may not be in the Philippines. So I hope people are looking forward to that. And I would personally love to meet a ton of you guys, as many of you guys as possible. I know obviously Manila is not the whole of the Philippines, but as you guys know, travel right now is a little bit complicated with the COVID situation. And two, <clears throat> my finances are a little bit complicated as well. So I'm being blessed with the opportunity to visit on a paid vacation, paid vacation. And I get to go to this convention, hopefully meet a ton of you guys here and there in Manila. And this is me pseudo announcing. It's not concrete yet, guys. So I wouldn't buy your tickets yet, which is why you should follow me on Twitter because when it's official, I will announce it on Twitter, and I will try and make a YouTube community post as well. But when it is official, I will announce on Twitter or on Instagram as well. Any of my social medias that I can access from my phone very quickly. I will announce that I will be in the Philippines. But right now, it is looking like at some point in July, late July, that is terrible. In late July, I will be alongside Neko P at the very least in the Philippines. So that's going to be very exciting, and I hope to meet many of you guys. And for those of you guys wondering, who are not from the Philippines, why the Philippines are so important to me, is, is very simple. Demographically speaking, my audience on YouTube, on Twitch, 
my largest audience comes from the United States of America, but the USA is absolutely huge. It's like the largest Western continent. So, you know, it or not Western continent, Western country. So it's absolutely massive. Now, which country comes number two after that? It's the Philippines. And the Philippines, in comparison, size-wise, to the USA, is tiny. So, to have such a huge audience and demographic based in the Philippines, who are so kind, loving, and supporting of my content and Necropiece content, as well as my friends' content, is freaking amazing. It's freaking awesome, and I would absolutely love to visit the Philippines. I also would like to go to Southeast Asia as well properly with a bunch of friends and i feel like this is just like such a wonderful wonderful opportunity which is why it's super awesome now other countries uh singapore indonesia uh vietnam and also india now of course india is really really big as well so you know india is uh also a very big demographic on my channel i believe it's third but for the philippines to come second in sandwich in between the usa and india which are two of the biggest populations out there it's crazy to me it's absolutely crazy to me so thank you very much guys for those of you in the putanina gang from the philippines mahal kita it's it's just freaking awesome i i really really do appreciate it and i hope not just for the philippines but in the future that i get to go to loads of other places of course i've just come back from la los angeles i think anime expo is happening in july as well i might be at anime expo so i might be going all the way back to america again but of course southeast asia maybe india one day i would like to revisit obviously the covid situation i know is not great right now but when this pandemic ends fingers crossed it ends soon when the world goes back to normal i'd really like to start traveling southeast asia again i really like to travel to all these places where i know there's a lot of people who have basically allowed me to be where i am today right so that's that's the dream uh, I never used to be someone that liked traveling, but things have changed now, which is kind of crazy, you know? It, it's kind of crazy to me. Can I hit this? Oh, I missed. Oh, that's cringe. Oh, that's oh, that's cringe. <clears throat> you guys didn't see that, but that... Oh, man, that was cringe. Oh, I hit that. <clears throat> anyway, I would like to go traveling. I would like to meet as many of you guys across the world as well. Now, for the people in the philippines when i do go to the convention actually in america as well if i am in los angeles convention and also if i am in well i will be for may in the london comic-con convention on friday if i do bump into you guys uh let's see let's come up with a code word okay so for anyone watching this video and i know you're one of the real ones right you have to keep this code word a secret you can't share it with other people but if you come up to me and you say the special word, which is going to be Unga Bunga. All right. So if you meet me, guys, if you tell me the special word Unga Bunga, I may or may not have a, a small gift for you guys. Hopefully, I will be carrying it around on the day. So, yes, that that should be exciting. Uh, I don't know why I'm using Kazha because this guy is immune to Animo and Cryo. But Unga Bunga, guys, that is the secret word. And hopefully I will have a tiny, teeny, tiny gift for you guys. And I hopefully have remembered to prepare that. So yes, uh, that's something I'm also looking forward to. And yeah, that is... Oh, we got four legendaries again. Okay. If this had crit rate, it would have been insane. But alas, beggars cannot be chosen. We have 58 of these Ring of Boreas's, guys. 58. 58. That's how much I don't use that item. Who else do we have next? We also have La Signora and we also have Devalin. Beg your pardon as well. I'm a bit gassy. The last few days I have been, because I've been trying to catch up on what I missed out on holiday at the gym. I've been trying to gain muscle. I've been eating a lot of my own cooking, guys. And let me tell you what. <laughs> Let me tell you, my own cooking gives me an extreme amount of gas because I only found this out yesterday, again, courtesy of Twitter. But, apparently, garlic and onion make you fart. Now, for normal people who eat normal amounts, it, it's no problem. But for me, I eat a whole clove, not just one clove of garlic, guys. Like, I eat the whole garlic, like, however many, like, 12 cloves or whatever is in there. I eat all of that. And apparently, 
apparently that makes you really gassy. And then to pair it up, I have two whole onions every single time I cook. So I have learned recently that that makes you very gassy. So I have been, for lack of a better term, struggling to get out the the human waste because one i've been gassy and two my digestive system is struggling and three i've been over or well, not overeating but i've been trying to eat a lot of protein and uh <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely easier than it, it looks oh sorry it's harder than it looks and i'm struggling i'm struggling now as you guys know we're family here, so we're not embarrassed to talk about any of this kind of stuff. Some people would be like, why are you telling me this stuff? That's disgusting. Listen, family, don't judge each other for this kind of stuff. Zhongli with a big meteorite KO, very nice. And I ain't like La Senora gonna ask you guys for any redemption. But, you know, I have a big mouth. I say what I say and I don't regret it. Okay, there are many times I regret it. But, just like this artifact, you know... One man's trash is another man's treasure, you know, and what comes out of my mouth is trash and for some of you guys it's treasure, I would hope so anyway, otherwise I don't know why you're still watching the video. We are now 21 minutes into this video and all I have done is completely ramble, but I'm very proud of myself for the first proper video back that I'm able to get across the, the three main points that I wanted to cover, which is one, the apology for re-uploading content or uploading something that was very similar to what i uploaded before two the genshin esports three the shanghai lockdown four i guess london comic-con and five we actually did five points which is freaking awesome five points is conquest and the philippines and also we went on tangent here and then about a lot of different stuff and for those of you wondering where the los angeles vlog is gonna be well what happened was, guys, and I think this is a good and a bad thing, is all the content creators that went to LA, you know, most of us had the intention of vlogging. Now, the, the problem was, we were having so much fun that most of us didn't actually record any footage in the end. Now, I think I do have the most footage, and I have asked Jake and Dawn, so Tuonto and Psycho, for their footage because they both said that they're not going to make a vlog because there's just not enough footage that they recorded so hopefully i will yoink their content and yoink their footage and make like a big la vlog now because i edit slowly guys and because i'm very inefficient and i'm a scuffed content creator please be patient with me that video will come out but realistically speaking it will probably come out next week or next month yo actually that's got crit rate and crit damage on it you know what? Let's roll this. First proper Genshin Monday, which is coming out on a Genshin Wednesday. Good luck, you know. We're going to get that good luck, not copium. And I have, you know, realized that I say I will do many things content-wise. And then when, you know, when push comes to shove, I'm just like, ah, you know what? We'll do it another time. We'll do it another time, you know, like one of the things I wanted to do was the Genshin Dictionary, which is to help you guys learn about words like Elemental Gauge or Copium or Kappa or Kek L. Well, those are like more like Twitch emotes, but there's many things I wanted to help you guys understand for the more casual players that might be on the channel that don't understand certain things like crit value, right? This, this at the moment, crit value wise is... 37.5 and you'll be like how did you work that out well you double the crit rate and you add it to the crit damage and the reason why you double the crit rate is because crit rate and crit damage they both scale except it's a one to two ratio and i'm sure that probably doesn't make sense to a lot of people but essentially crit rate goes from 2.7 to 3.9 percent and double that is 5.4 to 7.8 percent which is the values that crit damage can roll every time on your artifacts there's other stuff like snapshotting which i know a lot of people don't know what that is and there's a ton of different terminologies that i would like to help people understand if i open up this file you've got internal cooldown you've got 
funneling, you've got RNG, you've got AOE, which stands for random number generator and area of effect. You've got invincibility frames, also known as iframes. You've got DOT, you've got backseating, you've got DPS, damage per second, you've got BIS. A lot of people don't know what any of these words mean. I wanted to make a whole video covering all of this kind of stuff, but I've made absolutely zero progress on it because I'm scuffed. And I do apologize about that. Please bear with me. It will happen one day. The other thing I wanted to do was start a podcast with some of my friends. And the other person who's going to be the co-host is Psycho, who you will see in the vlog as well. She's freaking awesome. And, you know, that's been in the works for like three, four months now. It's always been talking. And like, we're like, you know, let's do it. <clears throat> Where's the podcast episode one? Still nothing has happened. And in that time, we even met up in Los Angeles and we went on a freaking holiday together. But... Nothing's happened because I'm scuffed. So I do apologize, guys. A lot of my channel is just purely me being scuffed. And I have no idea why you guys have come to this channel as a result. And many of you guys have stayed here. But I want to make it very, very crystal clear that I truly, truly appreciate every single one of you guys who have stuck by my scuffness. So thank you so, so, so much, guys. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. I really hope that i have recorded the audio on this video because i just glanced over and i feel like i saw the microphone was muted <sighs> i'm having a rough time guys this may may has been an incredibly testing tough month for me so i will try my best to get out the best of myself that i can thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful wonderful day bye bye